Hi guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to create this Game for Two effect when two people need to lean their heads to the same side to win. It was one of my followers who asked me Kate, can you create a video like this? And I was, yeah, why not? Before we start, hit the like button and make the subscribe button gray. Let's go! First of all, I'm gonna show you a very basic project so that you guys understand the process. I don't want to spend time creating beautiful assets, okay? <laughs> Since it is a basic project, I've created only four questions and one instruction. Lean ahead, right or left to answer. So you either need to lean your head this way to answer me or this way to answer he or she. And your partner or your friend should do the same. And if the answers are the same, meaning, for instance, you say, it's me who is crazy, and your friend says, it's he or she who is crazy, meaning it's you. So your answers are the same, and we see this salute animation. Again, in today's video, I want to focus on patches, not design. All right, let's go. First of all, I need to add two face trackers. And now I select my first user, go to the inspector panel and check the tracked face. So it's the faced one here and for user 2 should be face 2. Now we need two plain objects. Questions. So I can put it on the user one and duplicate it for user two. Now let's create new material for it. Both these plain objects they may use the same material. So I select this one and select this question material. It is flat and now we need to move it a little bit. I select both plane objects. We will correct the size later. Right now I select my material, go to texture, new animation sequence. Because we will get the animation from our questions. Texture, new animation texture, and here I select my four, one, two, three, four questions. Let's see. Uh huh, it doesn't look good. So we need to correct its size. See? Okay, much better. Maybe I want to make it a little bit bigger, like this. All right, okay. Okay, so now we see this animation and we need to open the patch editor and add the chain of the patches to pick one frame. We've done it several times in previous video so, I don't think we should dwell on this too long. I said 5 seconds. For loop animation, I said less than 0 0.1. And here in the random patch, 
I change the end value to 4 because I have 4 questions. Okay, let's round it. And now we need to go to our animation sequence. And first of all, we might need to click here to check this box, randomize, and even correct frames per second. It's okay for me. Um, the next, I need to create a patch from current frame. Here it is. Since my two users got the same material, I only have one animation sequence and one current frame. That's because I want both users to see the same question. Of course, it depends on your project. Maybe you want them to see different questions. In that case, you will need different materials for each user. Okay, my next step is to add another plane object with instructions. Let's make it easier. So, I select my two plane objects and duplicate them. And now we need another material. Create new material. Uh, I select this material, go to texture and select new texture. That's my lean texture with instruction. You know, just lean, head, right, left to answer. Instructions, instructions. Okay, so my first user got this instruction material and my second user needs the same material. Now let's go back to the patch editor. And now we need to create a patch from camera the camera patch and here we have the video recording output I connect my plane objects with the camera patch through the delay patch I set the duration to 2 seconds and I need not not patch. It's all about logic. You need to understand what you need to do. So, uh, let's create patches from all these four plane objects. Let's go to the inspector and click here. Okay. So, I need this not patch for the instructions and for my questions. I can connect it through the delay patch like this. When a user starts recording a video, he doesn't see the instructions because of this not patch. I connect it through the delay patch so that we get another 2 seconds for animation. So let's take the pulse patch and connect it with the offset patch through the reset port. So the pulse patch turns on these chain of patches and it starts to work. So unfortunately, right now we're going to see only this instruction patch because we cannot simulate video recording inside Spark Air Studio. Me, I really want this feature to be added to Spark Air Studio. Okay, now it's time to track the head movement. Drag and drop our face tracker and three patches are created. Next, let's take this face output and add head rotation patch. It's really funny the way you can play with patches by clicking here and type something like head and like, okay, what do we have? Head node, head shake, head rotation. Or for instance, eye, like we have eyebrow, eyeball. So we found this head rotation patch and let's take a quick look at it. 
It has several outputs and you can track all these movements. In this case, I need this two, leaned left and leaned right. I go ahead and create the same patches for my user 2. Don't forget to change the index because they should be different. If you type 0 here, it will ruin your project. Each face select patch needs to have a different index. Okay, so here we need to add a rotation patch again. Now we need to create a condition by using the AND patch. If the first user leans his head left and the second user leans his head right, then something happens and vice versa if the first user leans right and the second leans left, again something happens. So let's add the salute. New material. What I found was this salad effect, and it is uh, many, many sprite sheets. Of course, right now animation is not correct. Uh, that's because we need to go to the textures, select my salad, and change sprite sheet. I know that I have nine rows, five columns, and total of 44. Mm, let's change the place of it. I put my salad plane object to the uh, focal distance. If you don't know how to work with sprite sheets and you just don't understand what I've just done, what what rows, what columns, what 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 is it? Uh, I left the link to my old video down below. Okay, now I take my salad plane object and create the patch from visible like this. And since we have another condition, we need to duplicate the salad. It uses the same material, so we don't need to do anything else. So I need to create another patch. Okay, so now let me show you here. If the first user says me and the second user says he, she, then we will see the salad. All right, so our last step is to add instructions. Project, Edit Properties, Capabilities. Click here. Instructions. Open it. Check this box. Plus, and here we have all the instructions. So in this case, we need this one. Tap and hold record to start. Done. Now go to the device. And here we have custom instruction patch. We click create and I select the instruction on opening. Okay. Now we can correct the time how long we will see the instruction. I choose three seconds. Let's check. Yeah, well, we see this little small instruction here, but in fact, it will be in the middle of the screen. All right, well done. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.